Hey you, Basil here. So today I wanted to talk about the way uh, these companies that are making games nowadays, and it, it's been going on for like a couple of years, everything's like since 2016, 2017, and nowadays games are just messing it up left and right, you know, I mean the companies that are making these games, and one of the things that I really want to work on the game that I want to make, I mentioned that in a few videos ago, um, is is a lot of these issues, you know. Now they've integrated this whole cash shop thing, which I'm totally I'm totally cool with it. I'm totally down with it. It's it's awesome. I think it's a great way to make extra money, especially for free to play games. It's a really good way to like get those funds, but a lot of these games just focus on that. You know, they they remove the whole reward process, the whole reward um, rewarding the player, and you just have to buy everything. And that, that really sucks, you know. It, it's because it takes, it takes away from playing the game. You know, you keep investing hours, you keep unlocking things, you keep progressing in the game, and you should be rewarded for that. Instead, you just have to pay for everything nowadays and, and get the cool stuff. I recently started playing PUBG Mobile. I love the game. It's pretty fun. It's pretty awesome. But it's all cash shops. It's all cash shops. And I've gotten a few rewards that only last like a couple of days or a couple of hours. And that is totally whack. <laughs> I mean... It's one of the things that really like disappointed me. I really like the game, but I I also like customizing my character, developing, you know, getting new things and the aesthetics of the game, but I really don't like the idea that all the cool stuff you just have to buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. What about all the time I invested? What about all the you know, all the effort I've put into it? You should be rewarded more, you know, have a more, have a more balanced thing. And some of these games also, there's this term pay to win. If you don't know what it is, it's basically in order to get the really like high level stuff, you have to pay for it. There's a difference between pay to win and pay to get there faster. Um, some reward, um, some games you can actually get like good equipment, good shit, just by playing the game. It just takes a little bit more time. So a faster way to do this would be to buy things with real money. And that's that's totally fine too. But if you don't have that in the game, if it's only available with money by buying it, I mean, come on, you're just, you're just messing up the game. It's not as fun anymore. Not everybody has a bunch of money to just spend on the game and aesthetics and things for the game. I mean, come on, guys. And uh, one of the other things uh, with, like, MMORPGs, like World of Warcraft and games like that, we have to build parties of 5, 10, 25 people. Sometimes it can be really, really, really be a drag. I used to be, I used to play a lot of WoW back in the day. And one of the things that really, like, disappointed me and made me not want to play the game anymore was that issue the issue that when you're in when you're at end game you know you have to like get into a guild meet all these people and sometimes we're not that social i just want to play the game I'm, i don't want to meet random people i don't want to play with random people and so you will have to like spend like hours an hour two hours just getting a party together for like the bigger raids there's like 10 people, 50, 25 people. And in the process of getting people, you will have some leaving the party and then you have to go back and find more people. And once you started the raid, it, it has like a little lock system where players that get into the raid, it locks weekly. So let's say you take down a boss, you will be locked. And you won't be able to fight that boss again. So if somebody leaves your party, like right after killing a boss, you have to find another player. 
And if they haven't done the raid, once they get into the raid, they will also get locked. So they won't be able to fight that boss. So it makes it even more complicated to find people and get people in the party. It's just a real, real hassle. And I really loved the game. I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of grinding too, but that wasn't that, wasn't that bad really. I mean, because it makes you keep playing the game more and... But the whole reward system, again, like, what if I don't have a bunch of friends? What if I don't have 20 friends that I can play this raid with? Then I can't, then I can't enjoy that content. I mean, it sucks. <laughs> it really does. And one of the things that I, asked, I, you know, I asked myself, why don't I implement AIs? Like artificial intelligence, you know? And some of these games actually do that. Some of these games put like AIs in your party and you can have like three or four of them, but they're really just incompetent. They're like stupid as hell. And I really don't get why, why is it, why is it like that? Cause sometimes you have enemy AIs which, which are beasts. They're efficient. They're, you know, they can really beat your, your ass. So why don't you put friendly AI the same way as efficient, you know, with like a growth system. They grow with you depending on your level, depending on your gear and all that. And those are one of the things actually that I wanted to implement on the game I want to make. Like, let's say, have both options. You can find 5, 10, 20 people or you can replace some of them with AIs or even run a whole party with AIs. And they basically would be scaled to your level, to your to your level of, pro of progress. And you might be thinking like, oh, if the AIs are so efficient that they'll basically run the thing for you. You won't have to do that much work. That That's not necessarily the case because the same thing applies when you're in a group. If you're in a group with a whole bunch of people that are, know what they're doing, they're efficient. Yeah, they can run you. But at the same time, you have your role. So it doesn't really take away from that. You still need to play good. You still need to accomplish your role in the party. And it's the same with AI. Like if you had a bunch of efficient AI, if you die, then it's game over then. The AI won't com the AIs won't continue the raid without you. And th those are like some of the some of the things I've been working on um just writing them down again. And yeah, like, it really, it really takes away from the game, and it's a really shame, it's a real shame, you know, because there's, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of us, a lot of us, that, that just stop playing the game for that exact same reason, because you can't keep progressing in the game, and it's, it's really sad, because the solution is so simple, I mean, sure, it's work, everything's hard work, but the, the solution to the problem is simple, you know, just, just, Make the game more friendly for everybody to play, for every type of person. Not everybody is a social maniac, you know? Some of us are kind of loners. Some of us don't have that many friends that are gamers, that are into games. I have a bunch of friends, but not almost none of them play games. Almost none of them play the same games that I play. And it's a real, it's a real bummer, you know? It really is. So you combine those two things, the reward and the be able to have AIs in your parties, you know, like fill up the party. It's a lot easier. The, the matchmaking will be a lot faster. So let's say if you want to start a raid like a 20 people, you won't have to spend like one hour, two hours just getting the group together before you have to go in the raid. And the raid probably takes like two to three hours or even more. And not all of us have that much time to spare to play the game. So that's also a solution for the time consuming. Like if you're short on time, you can just get a group together with a bunch of AIs, go in, get out. And, and then especially the reward system, you know, we should be rewarded for progressing in the game and not with this RNG crap, you know, like it's basically a percentage. It works on percentage, percentage. Like if you defeat a boss and the, the boss gives you like drops, items, you basically have like a 
0.5% to get the actually item that you want. And so you have to keep doing it and 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 doing it all over again. And you never basically get the item, which is stupid too, because you're taking away from the game. You're making the player feel tired. You're making the player feel uncomfortable. And basically making what should be a fun experience a hassle. <laughs> and and that takes away completely from the game because we're playing the game to have fun, not to have a hassle, not to have a pain, you know. So I've I've sort of been working on a system like how to how to develop that. Like let's say if you run the, the, the same dungeon or you beat the boss like a certain number of times, you should you should be able to get that item. Not take you a hundred tries and not that you never get anything, and one lock a dude gets it on the first try. I mean, that's really frustrating. It's really, it really sucks. And so, yeah, I don't know what, what these guys, the companies are thinking. Maybe they're thinking just of how to make money, and they're forgetting actually what the whole point of the game is, is to give you, as a player, a great experience. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um... I also appreciate it if you liked and subscribed if you enjoyed this video. It will help me out a lot. And I'll be making more of these. Yeah.